minus V is the value of this potential divided by x square plus a square minus 2 a x cos of gamma and 3 over 2. So we got the first limit from minus 1 to 0 but then we will have to go from 0 to 1 as well because we will have to cover the whole hemisphere. So plus 0 to 2 pi again d pi prime and d of cos theta prime I think I have forgotten here d cos theta prime okay so d phi prime and d cos theta prime and this one is from 0 to 1 and from 0 to 1 we are having the potential a plus v and x square plus a square minus 2ax cos of gamma 3 over 2. Right? And I will have to enclose this in this. So the potential minus v in its limits, the potential plus v in its limits. So now my integration is ready, but I will have to take care of one thing that cos gamma, cos gamma depends on theta and theta prime as well as phi and phi prime. So it is depending on both. So I will have to split this thing first because to solve this integral all at once it is very really difficult to handle such a tough integral. So what we will do? We will have to do in parts and with the help of suppositions. Okay, so here it is very difficult to solve such a composite integral. So we will have to split this one and do this thing in parts. But we will first assume that let's say we are only on the z-axis. If we are only on the z-axis, then we can have uh, on the z axis. I know that on the z axis theta prime is equal to theta is equal to zero, right? Because you will have on the z axis theta starts from the z axis. So you will have this thing and this is theta is equal to zero. So cos of theta will be equal to one and sine of theta will be equal to zero. Because sine zero is zero. And we will have a change in our, like what we are actually doing our point x is anywhere here, but what we did, we moved our point x only on the z-axis. So when you move your point on the z-axis only, then this will be the situation. And in this situation, because our observation point, you will have to uh, clarify this thing that one is your observation point. Your observation point is x and x is associated with theta and phi. The other thing is your source point which is associated with the prime coordinates theta prime and phi prime that you will have to differentiate. So on the z-axis our point has moved here 
So what will happen to cos gamma then on the z-axis? Sin theta is equal to zero. So this whole term goes to zero. And here, cos theta is one. So cos gamma is coming out to be equal here. This will imply that cos gamma is equal to cos theta prime, right? If you are only on the z-axis, then it will be this situation. So our integral, this one, will reduce to like one of the integral I write, and I only write the first portion of it like this one, for example this portion then I will multiply with 2 in because they are symmetric so I can say that a simplified integral which will be d of cos theta prime divided by x square plus a square minus 2ax cos of theta prime because now gamma has gone and this is 3 over 2. Now this one is the simplest form in this integral as well as this integral. Means v is a constant value so this will go out of the integral. I will have to do this one so it will have its solution which is 2 prime and d cos theta prime divided by this d cos theta prime divided by this cos gamma has gone to cos theta prime. So this will be the simplest integral which I will have to evaluate. If I take from this one, x square plus a square is common. Then this will be 1 over x square plus a square and 3 over 2. And what will remain here? d cos theta prime divided by 1 minus 1 this is 1 minus 2 alpha x cos theta prime divided by x square plus a square so I write it like this 1 minus alpha u power 3 over 2 and I define that alpha is equal to 2ax divided by x squared plus a squared and cos theta prime is equal to u. So this will become du and it will become alpha times u because cos theta prime is so I have just converted this integral into this form. And I can now write that what will be the solution of this integral. So this will be equal to, I write equal here, and 1 over x square plus a square 3 over 2 now, if you think that why we are not writing this thing then in this form, then it is okay because when we will solve this integral, ultimately we will put the value of alpha in it. So it will be again the same thing. We are not converting this portion because this is not integrant. We are only converting the integrant in order to solve this one. So 1 over x square plus a square 3 over 2 and this one will the integral will come out to be so I will have to change this one as well that d cos theta prime if I write that cos theta prime is u then this is d u d u by 1 minus alpha u now you know the solution of such integral it's very easy if I move this one up, then this will be 1 minus alpha u minus 3 by 2. And front of this one is the 
derivative of this one because the derivative of this one is du 1 over alpha times du so alpha is a you can say we can manage multiply 1 over alpha and then divide 1 over alpha so we can manage this one so this integral is very easy now and this will be equal to 2 over alpha one of the alpha that I am writing here is actually due to multiplication and division and 1 over 1 minus alpha u and square root clear? how? means this is easy not difficult I think if you are not able to solve this one then how you will be able to do the tough mathematics of electrodynamics this one can be done like this this will go up it will become 1 minus alpha u minus 3 by 2 now you know that this is a function and this is derivative of a function with such a situation is there then the power is n plus 1 divided by the domain of it clear so the power is minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 plus 1 it will become minus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 will come down here and then the domain 1 over 2 will go up and it will become 2 over this one why the alpha 1 over alpha is there because here the derivative of this one is 1 over alpha so that 1 over alpha is coming in here we have multiplied and divided by this in order to make it integrable and now if I want to put the values then this thing is equal to 1 over x square plus a square 3 over 2 and now put the value of alpha so what this will be if I put the value of alpha here then alpha is 2ax x square plus a square so 2ax will come at this point and x square plus a square will come up so 2 2 will cancel and I can write that this will be x square plus a square divided by a x right clear and then the integrand and the integrand is 1 over the integrand is 1 let's say write this one is 1 minus alpha u for the moment because we will have to simplify the things first and this thing is then equal to x square plus a square this power is 1 and this is 3 over 2 so when this 1 will come down this will become minus 1 so it will become 1 over 2 as a result so I can write that this one is 1 over 2 and now if I come here and I put the values then for alpha I put the value this one the value of alpha this one so 1 minus 2 a x u by x square plus a square x square plus a square will multiply here and when it's down it is also in square root that will go up so with this square root which was remaining it will simplify cancel so we will have means this one is gone with this one so I can have 1 over ax and this one inside the square root I am having x square plus a square minus 2axu means I am not writing cos theta prime but I just wrote u there because u is equal to cos theta prime clear? Yes. these are the very small steps and you are supposed to do such steps it's very simple because uh, I hope you are having the Jackson book whatever we have done so far for all this he has written only one equation 
and then when we will do all this and we will erase this code and we will fill it again then the next relation the Jackson book is giving will come so the in between very small step you should do I will do the main steps here okay so I got from only this portion only this portion this result and now if this one I do this now I have to you know this is my solution but without limits there were some limits as well so let's do the limits now then from minus 1 to 0 and d cos theta prime and all this one what we have got here 